I also have the feeling that there is a lot being done already. And, and, but the issue is that how much of it can be replicable? I mean, that's the point. I mean, it's not really even going to the results. It's like the project you are mentioning now about MPAs, is, does it apply only to a region in France? Is it applicable to entire France? Can be replicated somewhere else? Can be replicated to Tunis? I mean, this is the, the kind of thing that can really help us, uh, each one of us. And then I will have to say that um, we need to differentiate two types of data sources or models. I mean, I am totally in favor of data as the baseline of many decision making. But um, the knowledge that each one of us has from the local projects it's not on data. I mean, data, you can find satellite data or improve it. Uh, if you have funds, you keep improving it. Less uncertainty, etc. We can talk about metadata, standardization, semantics, ontology. We can make it nicer. The issue is that what we gather from these local projects is actually the governance and the decision making. That it's something that it's really personal of, of whoever makes the decision. Maybe it's totally economically driven, totally environmental driven, total, I don't know, press driven, social media driven, we don't know. So I mean, really understanding that can help gathering that data from whatever sources and really applying it. And so about the topics I don't see uh, reflected there that can help the wider community in the Mediterranean, I will include the underwater cultural heritage. We have no idea how to deal with that. I mean, it seems that data we cannot share, we cannot even locate geospatially, but we have to take it into account. So I mean, this kind of conversation, really knowing how it's been done in Israel, how it's been done in Tunis, or, or different view sets can really help. Another issue would be on uh, dynamic movement resources, like our fisheries. I mean, each one of us is dealing with fisheries in different ways in our MSPs. And we depends of the lobby of the fisheries, of the lobby of whatever things. And uh, I forgot the third one, but we have <laughs> Exactly. Yes, exactly. I mean, before we finish, I'd like to invite Marilena to say a few words because she's involved in one of the projects that we mentioned today. Yes, which is uh, Regina, and uh, she's working on a COP, so there is an issue also for linking COPs together at different scales. Okay. Uh, well, I, uh, I wanted to say thank you, Emiliano. Yes, well, I work in the Regina project, and uh, we have the task of developing an, uh, another community of practice uh, which will involve uh, mainly local governments. This is the task to involve, uh, firstly, regional authorities and local governments coming from the Regina projects. We, we have eight uh, regions participating in the Regina project. Uh, of course, we have to bring them together to identify their common needs, their weak, common weaknesses, common challenges, which is not an easy task because these eight regions come from two different basins, the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. Um, and uh, as a final um, task, apart from bringing these uh, eight regions together, regional authorities, I mean, and local governments, we have to open up and go beyond the Regina participants, I mean, to help and assist, uh, the, uh, to assist the emergence of a community of practice involving uh, regional authorities, local, local governments. Hopefully, we can invite and we can have other uh, regional authorities and local governments coming from other countries as well, from the Mediterranean and the Atlantic, not only the Regina partners. And uh, to this purpose, uh, we will have the help and uh, the support, we hope, from the CBMR, the, uh, the Maritime Regions, yes, from the European Union. So this is another community of practice that we try to meet within the Regina project. Of course, to make it work, we have to go beyond and after the Regina project ends.